guys, <clears throat> listen, I got a hurricane to report on <clears throat> in the Pacific Ocean. It's heading toward Hawaii. So without further ado, let's open up the charts and take a look at this little beastie, this little hurricane called uh, Lane. It's called Lane. Now, it's, it's a powerful one. 160 mile an hour sustained winds so it's a good thing that this thing is not heading directly for the main island now if we go back uh to 2014 here there was a hurricane Isel, i s e l l e and it was the strongest cyclone to actually make landfall in the big island of hawaii uh, in, in recorded history uh it was a massive uh let's see if we can get a picture of it actually here 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 it is uh, a picture of azel back and it wasn't that long ago either only in 2014 uh she was a beast and uh she come in and she actually hit uh, the main island of hawaii now what we're going to do is take a look at this hurricane um <clears throat> where's my picture of it here uh lane this is lane now she's just right now uh south of the of 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 uh, of, of, of hawaii and uh so this is what we're talking about here and this is a look at the track the forecast track of the storm so uh, the storm is located at 14 degree 14.7 degrees north 154.5 degrees west Maximum sustained winds of 160 miles an hour is moving toward the west-northwest at 9 miles an hour. And the good news about this, if you can call it good news, is that the storm looks to me like it's going to take an, a, a, a westward trajectory missing the main island, the big island. Uh, we see these dots in the center here showing it missing the, the big island by maybe, I don't know, uh, quite a little bit maybe 50 100 miles you know uh, to the uh, western side so so it's probably not going to have the the brutal winds of a, of a category five a direct hit would be a very bad thing uh, but still they're probably going to get a lot of rotating winds coming around on the side of the storm uh, rotational winds so they could do a fair amount, a little bit of damage anyway, and and the center is going to come much closer to this this island here. I, I don't know what it's called. Um, <laughs> it's I, I know what the main island's called, but this little island up here uh, of of the chain of islands. See, Hawaii is actually a chain of volcanic islands, um, and so they've had a lot of trouble in Hawaii lately. You know. I mean, they're just getting down, tapering off of having a, a, a volcano uh, re quite recently. So anyway, I'm uh, bringing this report for the people of Hawaii. If you live in Hawaii and watch my show, I don't know, uh, perhaps uh, a few might live in Hawaii and actually watch my show. If you live in Hawaii and you watch my show, um, come on there and... and uh, tell me that you live in Hawaii you just come down there and say hello from Hawaii or whatever you know in the in the uh, uh, in the comments section you know uh, because I, I'm very interested in how many uh, uh, people in live in Hawaii uh, actually watch my show and uh, and I, I hope you guys are all right there in Hawaii uh, get out there and get a few little storm preparation things for yourself like some flashlight batteries gonna need that uh, you're gonna need some uh, uh water uh fresh water put away in jugs you know it's the best way but if you haven't got jugs you can't afford jugs uh go put a, a a stop clean out your bathtub really good wash it you know right now before the storm's coming uh put a stopper in the bottom of the tub uh and, and fill up the tub full of water uh and you can use that as a fresh water supply uh if you don't have jugs you know uh but that's only if you don't have any jugs <clears throat> And uh, remember, if you fill up your bathtub and use it for water, I'm not recommending you drink that water because uh, that water is, uh, is is not been tested and stuff. Best go out and buy some jugs of bottled water from your grocery store. Uh, next thing you can do is uh, you need to have a bit of canned food put away and a little bit of a little bit of stuff like chips and things that you can eat like uh, 
fried potato chips, you know, and stuff like that, you know. Uh, different countries have different names for uh, chips. Uh, a few candy bars put away for yourself for energy. You might need to uh, run, out, run out after the storm and clean up the mess, you know, and, and, and there's quite a bit to it. You might board your windows up and uh, if you're uh, especially ground floor windows because flying debris can smash your glass out. If you can't afford to do that, uh, the next best thing is to, if you got a big, like, a big window and you can't afford to board it up, you can do like they did in World War II. Uh, you can put tape on it. And believe it or not, duct tape, taped to the inside of your window, uh, and crisscross it, uh, will actually stop flying glass. Not as, not as good, as not as effective as boarding a window up. But it can actually stop flying flying glass, uh, and uh, that's what they used to do during World War II uh, in London when the bombs were falling down on the ground. Uh, they used to uh, tape up the windows uh, with tape uh, on the inside uh, so that there wouldn't be flying glass debris if a bomb fell near your house, you know. Uh, but hurricanes, very similar idea. Uh, the glass, uh, uh, if you got big shards of glass, can come flying into the room uh, if the wind blows the, the window free, you know. And that glass can be deadly, more deadly than anything else in the storm, just like fallen trees are deadly, you know. Uh, you don't get under any fallen any trees that are going to fall on you. They can kill you. Fallen trees are very deadly. Anyway, I've rambled on enough. I ramble, rambled on enough. We got a hurricane heading toward uh, the big, well, it's not heading directly toward the Big Island, but it is heading toward the Big Island. It looks like it's going to miss a direct hit uh, by a little bit. And thank you guys for listening. Like and subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next show. Bye-bye for now.